Second time here, I believe. First time was in March, April, ballparks around there. Yeah, yeah. How is it kind of coming back, follow up? Uh, it's good. I like coming back here. It was a great experience, and I love spending time with the players. What's been the standouts for you this weekend? Pretty much spending time with the players, uh, kind of getting to know the guys in the locker room, getting to know them better, and see what kind of locker room they have. So, you know, player hosts usually this weekend. Who is your host, and how is that kind of getting to pick their brain this weekend? Uh, Caden Jones. I spent a good, great time with him. He's hey man, I think this is his second year. He going into his second year. So he was just kind of telling me how it was to be a freshman and stuff like that. Um, it was a highlight because he kind of knew. Like, we went to Bryce's house and we thought I'll just chill out. So that, that was like a big plus for me too. And yeah. What made you just want to take this trip all together? Obviously you had a great first time, but when you put everything together, what makes Florida appealing for you overall? The, the offensive line system they have, they have like three coaches. Uh, Caleb, Coach Acosta, and Coach Sale, they have a great system built around it. And I yeah. feel like they, they are trying to build from the offensive line out, so they do need offensive linemen. What was their main message? I know you're a priority for all those guys, man. What was their main message? What were they really trying to get across to you this weekend? And this is a great place to come to, and they're, they're definitely, they, they're going to have a good team this oh. year. That was one of the main messages that was given me. Um, that can come here and have a chance to play. Mm -hmm. Those so, guys, yeah. oh, sorry, those guys both have uh, NFL experience. Costa was with the Browns, and I think yeah. sales with the Giants, I believe. Um, yeah. Does that move the needle for you at all? Just the guys that have experience at that next level are kind of yeah, it back does. guys in college. It does because it definitely shows uh, those guys coach at a high level, and it shows that they know what they're doing. So obviously, O line is your fit, but do they talk yeah. about kind of just? What you could do for them, where they see fitting, kind of just like your track of development here. Uh, yeah, so we did talk about that, uh, and how a plan would go for me, and how they did have a plan set up for me. Where they see fitting out on the line? Uh, they say I'm a versatile player. I can play guard or tackle, so just kind of anything. You know what I'm saying? Where do you stand? Where do you stand right now? I mean, what schools are really still in the running for you? Um, LSU, Alabama, Florida, and Ohio State. Is it just those final four? Yeah, pretty much. Or is there any pecking order among those four? Uh, not really. Kind of everybody just even right now. What's going to take for them to pull ahead? What's going to make the difference for you when you make your decision? People, people need to do that. Them do that. So I think heading into the weekend, LSU and Bama were the top two. Yeah. Um, they were standing out the most. Where does Florida kind of fit the picture now that you've taken the OB here? Uh, top three. Gotcha. I still want to go see Ohio State, but like I said, those guys, everybody's still pretty. Is there one staff, I'm not saying leaders, but one staff you have the best relationship with just from that personal bonding? A staff? Like yeah, just, yeah, just any school you have the best relationship with? i say LSU. I have a really good relationship with uh, Coach Brad. Yeah. Okay. You guys at LSU. Yeah. Cool. You are at Ohio State next weekend and then Bama the weekend after? Yeah. Decision probably July, August, something like that? Uh, I was thinking July 4th. Gotcha. Well, that kind of just like rough draft. Yeah. Okay. Somewhere in July. Definitely.